Start. Hey, it's Doc Bloom for the band Midlife Crisis, and we're down here in Chicago doing some uh, work on our upcoming album with our producer Jim Carroll here. Let's we're going to do a little video tour of the Chicago Recording Company and show you what we're going to be working on. Come on, let's go in. Right. Here's CRC. We got a bunch of really, really cool old analog gear and some really awesome vintage tube mics that have been sung into by you name it Mavis Staples to Chance the Rapper to R. Kelly to Billy Corgan to yeah, keeps the list is going but we're gonna be recording midlife crisis into these mics next we'll uh, have some pretty awesome sounds looking forward to it it's gonna be sweet this is where uh, the singer will be All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you got out here. All right. Huh? This will be Keyland. <laughs> so Kevin and all his keys are gonna be set up here. We'll have the the Steinway tuned up and mic'd up. I don't have the, <laughs> the Hammond hooked up to the Leslie. Yeah. That's the one got a Whirly, got a Rhodes <laughs> somewhere around here. A bunch of synths as well that we can use. Um, yeah, this will be Keylan. In there will probably be where the bass guitar or the like bass amp lives, or somewhere else. And here is where we'll probably have guitars. Set up a couple guitar amps in here. Use some gobos. Get it all mic'd up. But this way they can see everybody in there, and they can see over here. This is the drum room, or the live room as we call it here, yeah. but one of the best sound rooms in Chicago and the U.S. and the world. Uh, This is M49. This, so this is Mavis Staples is recorded with this mic. And many, many, many others. I think Buddy Guy did some stuff with this too. Is that the oldest mic you have? This is the oldest mic we have. It's a, it's a 50s M49. Um, we tried looking up for the price of it one day. All we could find was that this little plate, you can't really see it because it's under the shock mount, but that's yeah. $700. Just, Just for the little Neumann nameplate for this thing. Oh, Lady Gaga has played this guitar, by the way. The uh, so this is a Studer quarter inch machine. It's like the Cadillac of tape machines. Uh, during the session, though, we'll be using its much bigger brother of the 24 track Studer 800 with two inch tape. We can use this on Beatles records, Beach Boys records, every record like known to man. This is the mic, holy grail, U47. Tube? Yep. Tube has its power supply here. Mm. Um, forget what. Yeah, what year this is, but it supply. is it is an original U forty seven. We're one of the few people that have a working one. That's awesome. We're here in the live room at the studio, one of the best sounding drum rooms in the country. Uh, looking forward to getting my kit set up in here and get her mic'd in and try to make some magic. D seven. So it looks like a lot like a U87, but sounds a hell of a lot sweeter. These are awesome, and these very may well be our overhead mics, cool. depending on what I want to use. How many do you have? We have a matched stereo pair of these. And these, again, are original vintage U67s that we have a matched pair of. 
good luck finding a pair of those for under like 25 grand for a match pair of them. <laughs> By the way, you're 47s. Here's the biface. This thing is a lot of fun and sounds really cool. And they used this on the Smashing Pumpkins records and a bunch of other stuff. Um, there's there's the joke, and I'm not sure if it's it's true or not, but they said they ran the entire album through the or like the entire track through this thing, which on some of those psychedelic songs that you guys are doing may be a really cool thing to try out. Yeah. This is our uh, our vintage brother multi uh, function copy printer and faxer. Wow. So how old is that? Oh, did Ma did Mavis use, did Mavis use that? <laughs> yeah. Some of Mavis's documents may have passed through this. I'm pretty sure uh, Billy Corgan did some faxing on that. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. You can hear it on the albums. It really comes through. It's like, <laughs> you know, really adds that warmth. <laughs> 